All right, so uh, here I am in St. George Island. I'm gonna go scope out the uh, beach. I'm pretty sure it's a low tide. Um, I, I, I want to fish, but I also want to go into town to Apalachicola and get the crab cakes and the beer. I really want to do that. I'm hungry, and I, I fished at low tide before. Low tide, when you're surf fishing, just isn't the time to fish. You want to fish at a high tide, which is tomorrow around like 11 or 12. So, and I came down to fish for Friday, all right? Let's just go look at the beach. Let's just go look at it. But I think I'm going to go into Apalachicola and get the, and get the crab cakes and the Oyster City Brewing beer. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's 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 go check this out. Let's let's see uh, what this looks like. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to go into town and get the crab cakes. All right, so obviously it's a low tide. Yeah. We're going to want to come out here tomorrow when the tide's coming up, so... Let's go into Apalachicola and get some crab cakes. Decision made. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find here. The Creek Rob Bar. All right, so that was a success. I got my crab cakes. I'm going to get in this truck. We're going to go to Oyster City Brewing. All right, now we're going to go walk up to uh, Oyster City Brewing right up right up there in front of me. We'll see if they have any new flavors. And then we'll head back to the campsite and go to bed. All right, <clears throat> back to the campground. That was good, man. Grit Water Stout. That is my favorite beer that they have. My fa I love stout beers, and and that is a coffee stout actually. I like stout beers, 
I like coffee stouts. I love, I love all of them, but I really like, I think my favorites are vanilla stouts. Vanilla stouts are so good. Coffee stouts are so good. I love stout beers. All right, so I'll get in my truck. We'll head out. I always get nervous when I come up to the gate that they like give me a wrong code or something. Hopefully it works. Let's see. Open sesame. <laughs> that lady behind me didn't get the code. <laughs> she's stuck. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back and help her. Oh, she got it. No, she's in. Okay, good. Good. Some people, maybe they forget their codes. I don't know. Oh, she's good. She's coming. All right, it's Friday. It's good Friday. I'm just going to get some breakfast and I'm going to head out surf fishing. This is my this is my hasty setup when I only stay one night. No jacks. No supporting jacks. No cooking table. No awning. I don't even bring a chair out. No chair. No chair. Most of the time I don't even unhook the camper from the truck. Most of the time I don't even do that. But I went in, into town last night to get some crab cakes. But that's it. That's the hasty setup right there. I bought some food at Publix. I'm going to eat that. I'm not even going to sit down. I'm going to stand up and eat breakfast. Uh, and then we're going to head out. I'm going to hook up, head out, catch some fish. Frozen. Mm. Mm. All right, here we go. Rolling out. Let's let's go do what we came to do. Tow mode engage. Engaging. All right. Okay to go. Yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah! Hauling a load, baby, hauling a load. Woo! <coughs> Let's get to the parking lot. Unload the, uh, the, uh, beach wagon and get the lines in the water <laughs> all right I'm just getting set up a little bit now uh, a little bit windy more windy than I would like it to be uh, I don't know I'm gonna bait this up I'm gonna I'm gonna sling it, 
sling that right out there. Get me some fish sandwiches. All right, we've got lines in the water. I am pretty sure that one crossed that one. So, whatever. I'll sort it out later. It's windy. The tide's coming in here. I threw that one out, lost both my shrimp. That's why I put those little fish bites on there too. Honestly, all you need are the fish bites. But what the hell, I just throw the shrimp on there for a little extra, a little extra meal. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Look what I got. Tell you what, I've never caught a crab surf fishing before. Never have. That's pretty crazy. Caught me a crab. Go eat this crab. I hooked a crab. That's the first time I ever hooked a crab surf fishing. That's the only thing I got. The guy next to me down there looked like he got a catfish. But uh, those are the only two things I saw anyone catching. A crab and a catfish. I'm gonna fish, it's uh, I don't know, 11.30, 12. I'm probably gonna fish until about two. I hate catfish. I'd rather catch nothing than a catfish. Big pompano, big pompano. No, I think that's a keeper. I think it is, I think it is. Ow, ow. All right, yes. I got a pompano keeper in the in the cooler. Uh, it's just over 12 inches at the fork. It used to be 11. I remember a guy on YouTube talking about this, and I looked it up because on my sticker it says 11 at the fork, but it's actually 12 at the fork, and it's like a quarter inch over 12. It's like a 12 and 12 inch, 12 and a quarter inches keeper. We're gonna eat that one tonight, baby. Oh yeah. Another pompano, but uh, not big enough. Let me measure one more time. Measure one more time. Yeah, it's gotta be 12. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, I could probably keep them, but mmm. No, I'm not keeping them. All right, uh, here I go. So, yeah, not bad. I got uh, two pompano, and one was legal. So, I've got a pompano to cook for dinner tonight. I caught, I don't know, four catfish, I don't know. And a crab, first time I ever caught a crab, I hooked a crab. Um, let me think here. I, 
can't believe I didn't catch any whiting. I, I, I always catch some whiting. Cannot believe I didn't catch any whiting. Some people were catching speckled trout, which I thought was odd. I've never, I've never gotten a speckled trout surf fishing. Never have. So, but it was a good day. It was a good day. It's um, wow, it's two forty-five. Going home. Go home. Start cooking up this fish. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo. Okay. We, well, I just got back about an hour ago from fishing St. George Island. Ah. Uh, got a pompano. It's all ready to go. I'm just using all ingredients that I have at the house because I don't feel like going to the grocery store. So I've got some spinach leaves. I've got, look, look, look. I'm gonna layer this thing with some, I'm making a fish sandwich. I'm gonna layer it with cucumbers. Yeah. Uh, then I have some onion, bread of course, and I'm sure I have um, the sauce I'm looking for. But uh, let, let's do this. All right, let's do it. Let's start prepping this. Let's start prepping it. I can do this. There we go. There we go. Okay. This is the Cajun mix. I really like the Cajun mix. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, she's cooking now, mm. Okay, we're in the final stages. Oh yeah. Lettuce, onion, cucumber. Never did that before. Holy moly! I think there's enough fish. I'll just eat that. 
on its own. All right, here we go for the first bite. Number one, I've never had, well, until like five minutes ago, I've never had a pompano fish sandwich, and I've never put cucumbers on a fish sandwich before. You know what? From now on, cucumbers are going on all of my fish sandwiches. Mm-hmm. So good, man. Mm. Mm. Mmm.